What's up, internet? I'm calling this portion of the vlog reality. Because uh, a lot of times I'm going out and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But today I'm just uh, hanging at home with the kids and we're just gonna do stuff at home all day. So this is what a normal kind of do nothing day looks like for me. I'll try to show it to you in like 30 seconds or less, but here we go. <laughs> Now you got a little taste of what I do. Uh, yeah, just hanging out with the kids all day. Uh, what's up, buddy? Just watch that. Okay, show her how to circle it. Okay. Cool. So we're going up to Michigan on Thursday morning for Thanksgiving. We're gonna go up there, and while I'm up there, obviously, I'm gonna do some surfing. The waves, or it looks like there's gonna be like four and five foot waves there, so I'm gonna go with my buddy Paul in the freezing, freezing, literally freezing cold water, thick wetsuits, gloves, booties, Icicles in the beard, the whole nine yards. It's gonna be awesome. So here we go. Come with me on this journey. What's up world? It's 4.47 a.m. We're at the airport. So we're about to go through security. Get checked in, hang out at the gate. Kids aren't sure what to think of all this. Made it through security. My uh, Nintendo Switch got flagged, so it took a while. Just check it, man. Hey, I'm gonna need all more peppers and then I'll be awesome. Check this out. We're about to ride on a train and see Santa Claus. Santa Claus. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. 
On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Three French hens, two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Today is the day. My friend Paul is about to pick me up. And we are in Michigan. And we're going to go Great Lakes surfing today from Lake Huron. He should be here any minute. I'm making some coffee. I'm going to hit the road. Here we go. Yoo! Yo, what's up, dude? How you doing, man? Good. You ready? Yeah, dude. Chew. Dude, it's snowing. What's up? How you doing? Good to see you, bro. You too, man. Yeah, man. Whew. Me and Paul Zink, we out here about to go surfing on Lake Huron in Michigan. It's already snowing. It's gonna be a true Michigan surf day. And we're hoping that the waves are gonna be epically bigger than last time. I'm confident they're gonna be. The predictions are looking good. So we got about an hour and a half drive ahead of us, but we cannot be more excited to be on the water and be freezing our butts off.
Oh. Oh. Dude, it's a lot of work, man. It is. Worth it though, dude. Yeah, dude. Worth it for that one <laughs> 10 second wave, my God. Yeah, you didn't work that up. You had a couple, man. I had a couple. A couple of none, none were like too long. A couple, yeah. Like, a couple seconds. Oh, man. Dude. All right, ready, man? I'm ready, dude. We just got done with an epic sesh in Lake Huron. Huron? Uh, I didn't say Hur Huron. Huron. Lake Huron. Her Lake Huron. 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 Lake Huron. Just got done. I tell you what, it is a lot more work to surf in the winter in in uh, in Michigan, and it is well worth the work because even though even though we caught like only a few waves, which is like relatively less than what you would catch in the ocean it's like every wave counts and because of the work you put into it it's so much more fun and the water like the cold water dude it feels so good it felt good man like even though uh, even though it's definitely cold the only thing that I wasn't a huge fan of was my face yeah this is like like really cold in my face and there was definitely a second where um, for the first time in my life surfing I thought maybe I'll die <laughs> when I was over <coughs> hopefully the GoPro got it the waves were just like coming into the rocks over and over and I the undertow was going out and the waves were coming in and they were both like diagonally toward the rocks and I got stuck. Paul had to come save me. Um, man, that was one of the most memorable surf sesh sessions sessions that I've had. And it was with this dude right here. What do you think, dude? Yeah, that was great, man. Damn, glad you were able to come up. Yeah, dude. Whoa. Wave count? Six? Seven? I don't know. I, it, counting the little ones, ten. Okay. I so think, I think we're both probably had about that. Yeah, counting the little ones ten. I think I probably had. I had two good big ones, even though one of them I kind of wobbled off. Yeah, I think yeah. I had two big ones too. I had that that one yeah. huge one, and then uh, like one that was like probably five seven seconds. Yeah, and then I think I had like three that were pretty fast, but they were real shaky and choppy. So I I was only able to get like halfway up to my knees or something. Three or four of those. Yeah. So that was that was fun. It was kind of fun. Yeah. Man. Lake Huron, Lexington, Michigan. Who would have thunk it? Not bad, man. Dude. Now we're about to head out. Let's go get something to eat. And drive back an hour and a half. Look at these guys. Paul and I are debating whether or not these guys are gonna get some surfboards out of the back of this van and surf. Or whether or not they're gonna steal children from unexpecting parents. It could go either way. Dude, that is a cool van though. Could be both. It'd be great for uh Could be both. <laughs> the um That's the thing about winter surfing too. Is you can only surf for like a couple, couple hours. hours, man. And then yeah. you're you're like eat and frozen. What would a day of surfing be without an epic trip to Wendy's? Can I get um, a four for four junior bacon cheeseburger with fries and a drink? Like a drink with a can of sauce. Um, oh, sauce, I don't know. Uh, what kind of sauce is there? Sauce on barbecue, sweet and sour, honey mustard, green, green sriracha. Sriracha. <laughs> I got a drink. Commercial. Tuck into that bite, you know? The steam is coming off of it. So healthy. These trees, dude. They're so pretty. 
It's our last day in Michigan. It's been a pretty fun trip. Got to do some fun stuff with the kids. Got to surf with my buddy Paul. Now me and Isabella are gonna go play in the snow. Is it cold? Yeah. Just so. Not much snow, but she's excited about it. We're gonna build a miniature snowman. A snowman and a carrot? Let's go right here and we can make a little snowman on the bench. What do you think? Yeah. Look, baby, it's a baby snowman. Mm. Kind of. What do you think? I can't touch it. You can touch it. Is it too cold to touch? Yeah. You want to hold the snowball? No. Yeah. Is it too cold? Yeah. Look, I'm going to get you. <laughs> Are you too cold? You want to go inside? Yeah. Okay, let's go. I don't, don't do that. Okay, we'll go yeah. back inside. That didn't last long.